What is up viewers, Omar here and welcome to Red Nova Yu-Gi-Oh! And here I want to find discuss you, for you guys the card number 41, Baguska, I don't remember its full name, Baguska the Terrible Tire Tap here. I, I call it Baguska because it's just simpler. And besides, it's a card that I like, I know a lot of people don't like this card very much because it's cancerous to the game or it hurts the game or it slows it down way too much. But I, I like it. Um, for you that don't know this card, it came out a little while ago in the in the uh, in the circuit break. <laughs> there you go, circuit break. Yeah, you guys said I almost forgot the the name of the set that came out. But yeah, it's a it's a generic rainfall monster. Uh, it states once per turn during your standby phase, detach one material from this card. If you cannot destroy it, this attack position monster uh, card cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. Your opponent cannot target this, this attack position card with card effects. Yeah, so that's it. That's a card. That's the effect that you see mostly in attack mode. But when you see this card, you'll probably see it mostly uh, come out in defense mode. So let's see what it does. So while this card is in face up defense position, change all face up monsters on the field to defense position. Also, negate the active effects of monsters that were in defense position when that effect was activated. So yeah, so uh, for those of you who, who've been playing this game for a while, think about the card Lose One Turn. It's a continuous trap card that stays, I'll, I'll have it here in my notes. Activate this card only if you currently control no special monsters. While a monster is face up on the field, negates effects during the turn that monster was special summoned. If an effect monster is special summoned in attack position, change, change it to defense position. Yeah, so Baguska is basically a lose one turn, but on legs. Um, and yeah, and it does work a little differently than, than than lose one turn. But it's a card that I'm pretty sure that you'll see as a staple in any in any deck that can that can utilize a rank four toolbox. So yeah, so um, so yeah, so um, um, obviously there are some rules that I want to address because the wording on this card is kind of a little different than than what I'm used to. Then well. Than what what than what the game is generally used to because it does state that negate the activated effects of monsters that were in defense mode when that effect was activated. So negate the activated effects. Obviously that means trigger effects or or things just pop off. But it doesn't negate continuous effects or cost of effects or things like that. So so yes, yeah, so, yeah, so, so let's break it down. So um, another card that comes to mind while comparing this card is a card called Majestis uh, Majestis Fiend. I hope I'm saying that right. Majesty's Fiend. I hope I'm saying that right. So it states cannot be spirit summoned. Monsters effects cannot be activated. So yeah, so um Majestic Fiend and Baguska, they work they work a little differently because well obviously uh Majestic Fiend can't put in defense mode, which is why Baguska is just a powerful card which does stop attacks basically uh, unless you're playing against uh uh, super heavy samurais, which those attack in defense anyway. So, so yeah, so don't play Baguska against them unless unless they really want to use the effects of the of the monsters. So, so there's a thought. So yeah, so um, Majestic Fiend, um, monster effects cannot be activated. So so they can be activated. Period. Just period. And and Baguska can only negate effects during during resolution. So yeah, so yeah, so you're still allowed to activate effects, just not doing. Doing the resolution, so as yeah, so, probably the best example I can give you is probably a uh, card trooper, which if those of you that don't know, it states, well, well, I haven't seen an action in a, in a very very long time. I believe right now in the uh, in the balance is at two. I could be wrong. It's been a while since I've seen this card, but it states, once per turn, you can choose a number from one to three, then send that many cards from the top of your deck to the graveyard. This card gains 500 attack points for each card sent to the graveyard this way. Until the end phase of this turn, if this card you control is short and sent to your graveyard, draw one card. Well, the the only well the only thing you, you want to look for is 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 that is that first part the the million effect. Yeah, so because that's that's the cost to activate the effect, not the actual effect. The actual effect is him getting uh is him getting uh attack points for every card milled. The million is part of the effect. So let's say card trooper was on the field and the opposite side was Baguska. Card Trooper can still mill uh, through his effect. However, upon resolution, that effect is negated and Card Trooper will not get stronger. But most times, people that play Card Trooper, 
don't really care about uh, about the actual effect of Car Trooper. Uh, they care mostly about the milling. So yeah, so keep that in mind. However, Car Trooper against Magic Fiend, um, uh, you can't even mill at all because because Magic Fiend states that Monster Face cannot be activated. Just period. So yeah, so yeah, so yeah, so I know Baguska at first glance it does say it, it it basically sounds like negate all monsters on the field, but it negates monsters upon resolution, not 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 just not just period like Magic Fiend. So yeah, so there's that's one way to keep in mind when you go against Baguska. Or if you if you yourself are playing Baguska. Also, like yeah, so like cards like cards that trigger upon summon, let's say Manju, because Manju is in basically any ritual deck that you see out there. And I gotta say, and it's, it looks it looks pretty sunny to <laughs> looks pretty sunny in my opinion. Uh let me just turn down just a little bit. Just a little oh that's probably too hard. Uh that's Try that. Yeah, so maybe maybe my, my lighting is kind of crap, but who knows? Uh, last, you know what? Screw it. Just screw it. Just screw it. Just <laughs> let's see. Let's see what I can do with with this with this uh, crap lighting in mind. But anyways, but with Manju, uh, f um, basically when it's normal summon, uh, you may search for ritual card or ritual monster. But yeah, but with Baguska, uh, if you summon Manju. Manju will go directly to defense mode, and his effect will be negated if you try to activate Manju's effect to search. So yeah, so that's that. But cards like Amazonas Queen, which states Amazonas monsters you control cannot be destroyed by battle. Yeah, so that's not that's not an effect you activated. Uh, Queen just has that on default. So yeah, so even though Queen will still be forced to be to go into defense mode because of Bagusa's effect. Its effect will not be negated because it's something that that you don't activate. So yeah, so that's that's one thing to keep in mind if you're playing Amazon is uh, with Baguska or against Baguska because I'm pretty sure. Uh, excuse me, because I'm pretty sure Amazons can still make Baguska because they do have a variety of level four monsters. I only I only prefer Chain Master and and Swordswoman. That's just that's just my take on that. And and also and also um. Uh, one thing I want to point out be before 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 I actually discuss the rest of the rulings, um, Baguska's fir uh, first part of the of the text states: Once per turn during your standby phase, detach one material from this card. If you cannot destroy it, now that's not part of the effect. That's what they call a maintenance cost or just a cost in general, which is not an effect. So yeah, so Baguska does not negate its own effect if it's in defense mode. Just just. Because I'm pretty sure people have tried to actually get away with that and say that, oh no, uh, I don't detach because Baguska uh, has all monster effects negated or something like that. No, it still, it still is a, it's a cause you must pay, which means that Baguska is a temporary solution to your problem. So up to three turns max. When think about it, because uh, you detach first turn, detach second on thirty, on the third, uh, you can't because it has no more. So boom, he's he's done. So yeah, so a uh, max of three turns to just. A temporary halt, if you might say. I mean, I don't know. I know you got some kind of, some kind of a board, board wipe or kaiju or whatever, or whatever you have to actually get rid of it. But yeah, but uh, but yeah, but there's one thing I want to point out. This, uh, it's an obscure card, but there's a field spell called X Y Z Override, which I did think about when I when I first <laughs> read about Guska. It states, if an X Y Z monster on the field would activate its effect by detaching its own X Y Z materials. Its controller can banish one card from their hand face down instead of detaching one of those extra materials. Each player can only, only use this effect once per turn. Now, if you read the effect, uh, XZ Override can be used with can be used to to activate the effect of a of a XZ, of a XZ monster on the field. But if you notice, Baguska's like uh, to uh, to detach or destroy it. That's not an effect. That's a cost. So so Override. So override cannot be used in combo with Baguska. Just give me the heads up, just in case somebody wants to troll you that way. You know, have Baguska and the field spell on the field, and they think that 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 they may just 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 sit on Baguska like forever. Which <laughs> no, you can't do that. <laughs> That's not a combo that doesn't work like that. Because again, override only lets you detach when you activate any effects. Baguska's uh, maintenance cost is not an effect. So yeah, so just just one tip for you guys, for you guys to know, just so 
just so you don't get trolled or anything like that. Just so a lot of information taken, a lot of information. Now there is one ruling that I keep saying on I kept seeing on our forums and online or things like that. Is what if what if Baguska is already on the field and the player who controls Baguska activates MST and they and they target a set oasis of Dragon Soul and and player two activates Oasis of Dragon Souls and targets a card called Thunderclap Skywolf. Now, for those of you know, that, that don't know any of these cards, MSC just destroys one, one spell track on the field. Pretty standard. Oasis lets you lets you summon a monster from the graveyard in defense mode. And, 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 tar and what was it? And, <laughs> and I'm sorry, and equips the trap card uh, to the monster. So if the trap dies, uh, also the monster does. Is if I can get to it, there you go. If this card is spare summoned from the graveyard, you can destroy all face of monsters your pro controls. You cannot connect your battle face the turn you activate this card. So it's basically a, a Raigeki, but only for face up. So think more lightning vortex since it's it's basically like Raigeki, but it only destroys face up monsters. So yeah, so, so yeah, so we'll think about it. So on chain, um, Dragon Souls will summon Thunderclap. And then MST destroys uh, Dra uh, Dragon Souls, which which in turn destroys Thunderclap. Now, since now since Thunderclap was first summoned from the graveyard, its effect does go off. However, upon resolution, Baguska will negate it. This is this is this is why because because Thunderclap was summoned in defense mode and was under uh, the effect of Baguska. So even so even upon resolution, if this card were to die. And attempt to activate from graveyard, it still will be negated because technically its effect was was uh, was trying to activate when summoned during the chain. Obviously, the effect won't go off until after the chain is done. But since it was summoned during the chain uh, while in defense mode, while Baguska was still on the field, its effect <laughs> will not go off. I know it's a little weird, think uh, considering that that the sky the sky wolf upon resolution is no longer on the field. But it does happen because Baguska does state neg negate the active effects of monsters that were de that were in defense mode when that effect was activated. So, so yeah, so think yeah, so it's one of those weird rulings that I had to keep I had to keep reading over and over again for me to understand properly. But but I guess that's the that's the best explanation that I can give you guys just because yeah, it's a it's a really weird ruling that that Baguska. Can even stop that, which is which is pretty insane when you think about it. But yeah, but also another ruling that I want to think about because because I was thinking about, about this scenario, about this scenario in my head. Um, what if Baguska is summoned, and and player B wants to ch wants to uh, chain bombless trap hole, which obviously will destroy and remove Baguska, which it will. But 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 my question was, will Baguska still change all monsters on the field to defense mode? Before before it dies, or 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 will it not get a chance when it's summoned? So yeah, so yeah, so so I did so I did a bit of my research. So yeah, so let's start first by reading the card because you know to understand rulings you need to also read your cards. So yeah, so let's read it real quick. It, it states while this card is in face up defense mode, change all face up monsters on the field to defense mode. Also negate the active effects of monsters that were in defense mode. When that effect was activated, sorry, I'm saying defense mode instead of defense position because it's just easier for me, I guess. Yeah, but but yeah, but let's read it again. Just the first part. While this face-up defense mode card is on the field, change all face-up monsters on the field to defense mode. So yeah, so basically, so basically, once Baguska touches the field, just hits it. Like let's say it's, it, it gets summoned, and and there's no count trap, solemn strike, solemn warning. Or any or anything to to actually negate the effect. Like once Baguska's foot touches the ground, its effect is applied, and all monsters go into defense mode. And then after that, player B has the option to use Bomb's Trap Hole. So yeah, so do you get that? So yeah, so when once when it's summoned, its effect is already applied. And then afterwards, you actually uh, you actually allow given the option if you have it set set down, of course. Or we have some card. Let's you activate trap cards from the, from the hand. So yeah, so and at that point, you actually are allowed to use bombless trap hole to actually destroy Baguska. But at that point, 
every monster on the field should already be in defense mode. Since once again, once it hits the field, its effect is, is now applied. It's now applied because Baguska is a is a continuous effect. Which the, which means like which means it doesn't trigger or, or, or it doesn't even start a chain. So yeah, so once it hits the field, it works. And and can we all just say <laughs> for me, I mean I'm glad that we got Baguska here in the t in the TCG, but but how do you wish we, we could have those beer bottles instead of that pillow <laughs> that we actually got? Because that beer bottle would have been just amazing. But no, we got pillows because I don't know. I guess when you're drunk, you go to sleep, which I guess makes sense. But still, just 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 my just on my personal preference, I would have loved if we got the original artwork. But you know. USA, America, you know, we can't handle drunk elephants or tap tap ears on our, on our children's card game. But yeah, okay. anyway, anyways, guys, um, um, I hope I hope that taught you a little bit about this card on on how it works, on the mechanics, how to counter it, what works, what doesn't work, just all that stuff to be prepared when, when you go against um, Baguska. Because again, I'm seeing this card in every in every deck. That can make rank force. So yeah, so just so just be ready for this card when it comes out. Yes, it does slow the game down, like it really does. But there are ways around it. Like again, again, uh, it's a temporary solution, but still annoying, which which I can understand. But I still love Baguska. He, he he's my boy. I still love Baguska. All right, guys. Well, ding ding us again for for watching, and see you next time for my next for my next rulings video. Which will it be? I'm not sure. Be but you know, Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh rulings always come up and uh it's always fun to discuss them. Alright guys, I'm Omar. Have a good day. Peace.